September 27, 2004. All right. Oh yes, hello. Uh, we're waiting for. I mean, we we were waiting for Mr. Robert to uh, join. He will join very shortly. He said he's joining, so he will. But um, we can all call. We can all say late for him when he actually joins. Um, but I guess yeah, we can start allowing people to put their hands up and then they can come speak. And then in a bit of downtime, we'll answer the questions from the Q and A questions chat. So, as usual, request to speak at the bottom of your screen is now available, as three people have already done, so. Hey. Hello, uh, hello. Hello, hello. Uh, I have two questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, I feel like Skyblock is definitely renowned to the BR system. Uh, like Battle Royale and that, if all the game modes you've done. Will there be any sort of feature for that? It's not off the table for the future. But it's probably not something that would really be released for beta. That's yeah. not to say for map one it couldn't be a thing, but beta it wouldn't be a thing. Yeah, okay. Uh, second of all, I feel like all the other servers have had a big, so PvP and Prisons obviously have big dueling aspects of the game, so where you can test your sets and stuff like that. Well, I know it shortly got implemented Sky like sooner after the player base died. But will there be any sort of dueling systems implemented? Um. Again, I same answer. Excuse. Same answer. Same answer. Not for beta yeah, yeah, yeah. because essentially we want to with beta, um, balance the core game mode with obviously the updates that we put in. Um, not only updating the server, uh, server's version to one twenty, making sure everything's still balanced with the new mechanics that that brings. But then also, um, the actual parts we've changed and added from the last time you guys saw the server, in. The phases state that it was, which fortunately is no longer a thing. Yeah. All right. That's all I wanted to ask. Okay. Uh, sweet. How do I leave this thing? I'm not gonna lie. Not sure. All right. Bye. Yeah. I'm glad he knew. Um, Pippi, you've been invited to speak, Pippi. Ah. Uh, so I got. I think I have two questions. So. My first question is, if this map goes well, can we get a roadmap for next map? Or like, just in general for the server, such as if Cosmic Line's going to come back? If it's not, like, will there be texture packs, stuff like that? Um, as for specifics on the future, obviously, it, it really is just going to depend on how well Cosmic Sky does. Because obviously, yeah. if there's, like, pull to um, the game mode still, there will be... Um, like, want for us to uh, reopen, for example, prisons, which has been the, a big request, or PvP, which has been a big request. The actual client aspect itself is very low chance because there was a lot of, um, I guess, issues with just restricting to one client, whether it comes to, um, like, availability just for general people um, or of the above. But a uh, texture pack is something we'd definitely look into in the nearer future, uh, regardless of the outcome of the previous statement, um, because obviously it is very easy for us to do. 
Um, I will add a bunch more content for you guys. My second question was is going to be, uh, what's the plans for like beta, as in lengthwise, even just general number of people who are going to be doing it? Um, it'll be very similar to last beta in the sense of a uh, number of people. It was very available for everyone who wanted to do it, essentially. Um, like, I think, I don't remember how many were invited to beta. Uh, I don't know the exact number, but the majority of people who want to get beta will end up getting it, probably. Um, obviously, there's got to be a case of, like, um, uh, limited uh, access to new people who are coming in and maybe wanting it. Maybe you have to do something. What that is, it will be announced in the Discord very, very soon. Um, a specific time uh, scale on it is... Something we're waiting on uh, Rob to be in here to answer. But yeah, essentially, uh, it'll be very obvious how to get beta. It'll be easy to get it, and a lot of people will get it. It'll be on a pretty large scale. It's not going to be something that's very limited at all. And what's the plans lengthwise? Do you know? Or is it just um, how it goes? Essentially, uh, we, I mean, if everything goes to plan, it'll be roughly two, three weeks um, at the most. And then it would be a case of ironing out anything we get from beta and then release after that. Um, obviously, that, that, that could change, but that's the most likely. How do I leave? Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Server muted. There you go, you're on server Hi, muted. I'm reformed. I got muted before, but all good. Um, some questions, sort of about the way that I guess relating to prisons and how it was at the end. Are you guys planning to up the anti cheat and actually not like to shill on you guys, but like, um, ban the cheaters? Actually, you know. Well, so for so for prisons it's itself. Update, so for prisons yeah. again, uh, when when prisons releases, that'll be a question for. People developing prisons for Sky. Um, I mean, there was never really a massive issue with PvP cheaters. Um, obviously, there was issues in other aspects um, of the anti-cheat. Uh, I mean, to answer your question bluntly, yes, the anti-cheat is getting an update. Um, Let's for... go! Fuck you, killer! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. How do I leave this? Uh, but bust another bomb. Uh, GC Cam, I invited you to the stage. There we go. Oh, can you hear me now? So yeah, I, I, I just pulled me in. Uh, you kind of already answered one of them of like time wise, two to three weeks. But other than that, uh, rank system, all old ranks just being purged, I assume. All all ranks are being purged. Yes. Um, oh, it's a completely new system with how it's working, at least on Sky. This is. Um, right. yeah, and then just to clarify yeah. the first thing, that the, the, that's the length of beta, two okay. to three weeks, not like when it is. Yeah. Um, when it is, that is, oh. um, uh, it's still not out there yet, but the length of it, two to three weeks. You think in the summer though? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, very excited for you guys. Uh, other than that, uh, beta would that have to be like a got to have a rank to get into it or something like that? Gotta no, buy... public no? public access. Public access. All right. Uh, other than that, just generally very hyped for you guys. Thank you for bringing this back. No worries at all. We're really hyped as well, and uh, I'm very excited that you're excited. So thank you. All right, love you guys. Thank you, Captain. Hmm. Uh, there we go, hello? you can speak. Hello. I can speak? It works? Okay. Uh, yeah. I wanted to ask about the pay-to-win system, because you mentioned that top rank's going to be like $30, so what's your guys' like, plans for pay-to-win? Swap it's not out anymore. Boxes, CCs? It's uh, not anymore? Top rank, I mean, more... uh, top rank, I mean the, the $30 number I kind of just put out there is like a feeler, I guess. Um, okay. Adjustments have been made based on people's reaction and based on of conversations we had. Um, with uh, the other admins, 
from the other servers. Um, so the actual ranks themselves, uh, the price, um, obviously you'll see on release, but it's it's not as much as it used to be, but it's not as low as they. Okay, and are there going to be like slot boxes, loot boxes, CCs, all of that? Uh, not CCs. Um, loot boxes, we're not 100% on how we're 100% doing them yet whether it'll be weekly um, or what. Slot bots, yes. And then there will be other things that you can purchase from the store as well. It won't be as limited as Sky Wars before. Okay. I had one more question. Uh, cough. I know we talked about it before. Is it is the plan for it like still like once a week, or what's the plan for Cough? Uh, once a week. It's So how it was before on Sky when it finished was it was, I think... Pretty often, Koth. Um, mm -hmm. It didn't allow for good loot to be given and kind of separated out the hype of a Koth over multiple events. Is it keep inventory or no keep inventory? Um, we're not 100% on it, but it's leaning towards no keep inventory. And it will be a once a week event at one time every week. And like account death ban on death? Like death ban? Uh, no death ban because you obviously lose your loot so you can come back Just in a different set if you want. Okay. Alright, that's that's all I had. All good, thank you, thank you. Uh, Derp, I have invited you to speak. Hello, I have a few questions. All good. Um, so, what is going to be like the policy for reporting bugs during the beta and during full release? Uh, through the Discord tickets. Alright. Um, is there going to be LMS on release? Um, no, no LMS. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think we ever had that on Sky, at least not the end. We may have had it at some point, but... Um... We definitely did have an LMS. Um, I'm pretty sure we tried to integrate it into Adventures later on, but we will not be releasing with uh, LMS or Outposts, for that matter. Alright. Yeah. And is there going to be a cap on island size? In terms um, of like how, how large it is? Size. Like players wise or size? Players wise and like actual island size. Players wise, yes. Um, however, it won't, it, it won't affect the majority of people. Uh, off the top of my head, it's 25 with all the upgrades. With all upgrades? With no upgrades? Do you know what it's going to be? Um, I can look real quick. I believe it's 12 with no upgrades, if I'm correct. Yeah, there you go. It'll be 12 with no upgrades. I, I just did that math as well. Yeah. All right. And are there going to be spawner caps and node caps? Uh, Yes. However, IS top won't work as it did before. Okay. Yeah, so there's no resource node caps, but there is still the spawner cap that you can upgrade with the slash IS upgrade. All right. Thank you. No worries. Yeah. We're moving away from the system of placing X amount of spawners to win IS top or placing a certain amount of IS value to win IS top, it's going to be something that you grind over the season which will make you win. Perfect. Thank you. No worries. Midnight Slayer. All right. So my question is, is there going to be automation or is it going to go all back to like manual hand grinding? There is automation, yes. Um, it's not the level we left off with, in the sense of there are no more bot stars, bot upgrades. Sorry, not there are bot upgrades, but they're the original bot upgrades where you get an item, then you put it into the bot. Um, yeah, all like the Autobot leveling where you combine combine two Autobots to craft like a two star, three star Autobot. That's all removed. There's just the one base Autobot. You can have a chance to find one of these two Autobot upgrades to put it into there. It's like tier one or tier two, so you can have one or the other. But other than that, um, on top of there still being automation, there is still, of course, manual grinding, and we are adding some things to spice up manual grinding as well to make that more, like, worthwhile. All right, and then the other question I'm going to ask is I saw somebody in, like, the actual q and ask it, are there going to be custom enchants and stuff for uh, farming? 
not necessarily off the start, but there are more um, uh, buffs for farming that have been introduced. So, like stuff like hoe enchants is something we definitely have in our mind, but is not something that we're releasing at least beta with. Well, that was my question, so... Thank you, thank you. Uh, William, I've um, given you permission to talk. <gasps> so, I just have six questions. Um, <clears throat> my first one. I know Cosmic PvP did trials. Is there something you're going to be thinking about in the future? Just because... In my opinion, that was a really good feature of that, and I think a lot of players would really like that. Are you guys open to doing that in the future? Uh, yes. Or dungeons, really, yeah. Yes, that is something in the future that we will be doing. Nice. So my sixth question is, uh, one of my favorite admins was your parent. Is she going to be coming back? Because I really would like, I think she was a good uh, asset for the team. Uh, nothing is planned in that sense so far, uh, no. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. Okay, Hunter. There you go. I invite you again. Um, two questions. What happened to Yifrin? Is the first one. Uh, she's no longer working with Cosmic. And also, William did just ask that, but oh well. Actually, I was not paying attention. And then uh, my second question is: If ranks are going to be like different, like prices based on like, you know, less pricing, like not a hundred dollars for what they were last time. Uh, is there going to be like an alternative way of getting ranked so they're actually like valuable, or are they just? Gonna what do you mean? So you said they're going to be like cost less, so they're not thirty dollars anymore. Oh, sorry, they are thirty dollars now instead of like five hundred on the store. Well, so okay, the actual price of them. Worth something. Th yes, the price is, the the price isn't thirty dollars. Um, that was a feeler number that was put out. Um. And then discussion was raised, and then obviously the the side of that was the side we learned of that was the value of ranks needs to still be there, so they still need to be expensive, but they're just not going to be as expensive as they were. Uh, okay, that's it. Thank you. Also, just to note, everyone asking questions, make sure to listen to previous questions. Dual, I. Invited Hello. you. Hello. Hello. Yes. So, um, basically, two questions. What version will the server run on? Um, at the moment, it's one twenty four. Uh, however, we're looking for it to be latest, but we're just waiting on a couple of things. Mm -hmm. And this is gonna be one penny PvP. Yep. Oh fuck yeah. Um, and also truces. Like you mentioned, an island size of twelve to twenty five. Are we gonna have like alliances between islands? There will be. Um, it's not on like a hundred percent been like there. It's the, not the first thing we looked at with, um, like having alliances back. However, it is something I've seen the suggestions of a lot, and it's something that will be considered for at least having at least one ally. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That was all. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Locks, I have invited you. Hello. Hello. Uh, so how you're planning on having the update schedule? Like, is it going to still be weekly updates like it used to be? Or will it be more like maybe on reset, there's a big update, and then like halfway through the map, there's like a follow up update or something like that? Uh, reset update, and then um, maybe like a follow up update throughout the map. But the main update we're going to be putting all of our time and effort towards is a uh, map change. Uh, the for a reset um weekly updates although cool uh they led to a lot of like there was a lot of negatives with them as well so um we're we're changing to map play having a one big update 
or multiple big updates for the mechanics, each map, and letting the map play out with those mechanics. Okay. And then, as you said, potentially halfway through, adding us like a second level to those mechanics, similar to how it was done with Ender Islands when we did that change. Yeah, because that was a pretty big update, right? Big... Uh, yeah, so it's like if we if we don't want to release the full update at the beginning, it would be done in halvesies essentially. I see. I see. Uh, and another thing is how, or like, are you re-adding the whole uh, fun system so you kind of spread out the early game of the map and maybe mid fund, game as well? Fund isn't a thing at the moment. We're gonna see whether it can be done because obviously fund is good. Fund and level cap, they're both good, but. Um, it does limit a lot of content and a lot of people with level cap were just sitting and waiting for the next day. So ideally we want to design a game where there is no level cap and uh, fun needed. Okay, okay. Well, that's my question for now. Thanks. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let me find where this thing is again. Ash, I've invited you to speak. Ah, oh, hi guys. Um, my question was basically around AFKing on the server because, from my experience of of my time trying to get new people to play the server and dealing a lot with 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 new players, uh, that seemed to be quite quite sort of a problematic issue for people. Lots of new players were put off by the amount of AFKing needed um, with alt accounts sort of AFKing machinery and stuff. Is there a plan to make machinery work without the need of AFKing, or is there? Is there anything around around how the AFK system worked before that you're you're planning on changing or anything? Um, I'm not uh, Apple. You can correct me if I'm wrong here. Um, island wise, when uh, obviously someone goes offline, does it work? I forget. So as of right now, the way that we um, one of the main changes as well that we're doing with the whole conversion 1.20 is we're adding like a diff because before your island was constantly loaded, you was constantly on the server, but now we're trying to reduce like um not reduce, but we have this new system where your island if there's no members online, it gets unloaded. So with that in mind, it currently you will still need to have an account online and AFKing your island, but with the whole aspect of like unloading the island, there is potentially a future of adding something where you won't have to AFK your island all the time, but that's not something that would be for release. But okay. definitely something for the floor, because of course AFKing has always been one of those things, like if you've got your accounts, you can AFK, if you don't, you don't, and that is something that we are aware of, yeah. However, there are more, I guess, rewards added for AFKing now than there were, was before when it comes to, for example, passive leveling of pets. But yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. No worries. Um invited you to speak. There you go. Yes, hello. Okay, so I kinda had thirty questions, but I only asked three. Um are adventures going to be full KO? Um there are so Yes, however, there is also an alternate place which we're designing, which won't be. But the balance of KO to non-KO means that it will still be better to KO. Okay, um, are you going to be able to craft 5-5 five, five armor pieces? Uh, crafting armor is not a thing anymore. Okay, and will there be a level cap? No. Okay, that's all. Thanks. No worries. Uh, target, I've invited you. Hello. Hello. All right, so I have a couple of questions. One of them is about realms. So back how you guys used to do realms, basically it just kind of got to a point where people were using a ton of alts and kind of just abusing like RNG and really just like I remember when you guys did like double 
realm points at one point for 24 hours. Like, I know people that literally went on alts and stayed up 24 hours straight and ran the fairy realm until the 12, the 2x realm points was over. So I'm just asking if you guys are going to be changing how that works with realms. Like, maybe if it's IP-based or account-based or... Um, I mean, as for farming on alts, obviously, based how of how the the original system, well, the most recent system were with loot boxes, um, I guess that might have been more needed. Uh, how the new system, or I guess old system worked, was you saved up for specific items. Um, so where it may have been needed to or we may have been encouraged for those players to uh, grind on a bunch of alts so that they have a higher chance to get the item. If they're just going to grind on a load of accounts, they're going to get multiple of those items, which I guess isn't a bad thing to do, because they're spending their time to do that, because you're going to be able to buy each individual item for a set amount of money, or set amount of round points. So I guess with the old system, I could see your point because alting to get higher chance is obviously not um, something that is good for a system. But now they're spending their time and having to save up the same amount of points as everyone else has to save up to then be able to sell it. So um... When I did ask that question, I don't mean to say that the system is bad. I'm just asking if it's going to be the same. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. you still will be able to use account uh, as many accounts as you par you can on it because there's no real way we can limit it because if we even if we add an IP limit, you can just change your IP. Um, that's just an example, I guess. But the actual system of buying Realm loot is uh, back to how it was before where you buy individual items rather than a loot box. Okay. All right, well, that's all. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, GC Cam. Oh, hello. You're back. Hello. Hello. Uh, I just thought about another question. Are you guys going to get rid of IRL trading? Uh, I know you guys got, like, overwhelmed with trying to monitor that with the last few servers, but I, I hope that comes back to effect. Um, I mean, IRL trading is still going to ex exist in the sense of, like, regardless of where we monitor it, well, not monitor, rather allow it or not, we're just allowing, yeah. we're not recommending it, we're not, like, saying, you can go do this, like, you can do it, we're, we're, yeah. we're not recommending it, but we are allowing it in the trading channel, it and, All right. yeah, whether players choose to do it in that space or outside of that space is up to them, but... The space is there because we know it's going to be done regardless. All right, that's good to know. And uh, I don't know what the uh, the developers are really looking for or anything, but I know you guys have a suggestion chat. Maybe make like a reverse part of that where developers, if they have like any questions for the community of what they want to see, they can make like their own. I don't know. That's just an idea. So obviously, as we've been doing beta, oh sorry, alpha. Um... There have been a lot of um, like uh, changes we've made, and people who the advertisers who were chosen to come on and test us have obviously given the feedback. Um, beta is going to be a larger scale of that, and then obviously down the line, the suggestion chat is essentially where the ideas that are going to come from for the server. Um, yeah, are going to be got from. Obviously, there will be the case where we think of ideas. Uh, there may be a case of us making those as suggestion threads and allowing people to comment on them. Um, because, I mean, it's always good to have the community's opinion on uh, potentially game-changing updates. Um, so that is something that we uh, may do down the line, yes. All right. Thank you. No worries. Sir Quackhead. Hello. All right, I have two questions. Uh, do we know exactly how long season one season one will last? Um, no, we don't know exactly. Um, okay, my second we're aim than... we're aiming for around cool. three months. Okay, and then other than BR, will there be any other mini games 
that will be uh, uh, added. No, no mini games for beta, but there may be uh, some for uh, map one that is not known yet. Okay. All right, that's all. Thank you. No worries. You can leave at the bottom. I can leave? Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, what's um, up? Hello, race car. Hey. Uh, so with the new ranks, are we going to have dual wield in the game again? Dual wield is no longer in the game. Dual wield is no longer in the game. Cool. And I guess with the lack of dual wield, are you going to have something to combat people using alts to cheat in adventure? What do you mean? Like... It's really easy to just go in on a second account in Adventure and cheat on that account, and if you get banned, it doesn't matter. Well, obviously, the if there's a big problem with that, that's more of a problem for, I guess, anti-cheat plus um, the anti-cheat not doing its job when it comes to people alting. Um, as for, like, the actual gear people are using, obviously, there is a perk of being top rank. Uh, yeah. There's replaced dual wield. But it's not something that's as impactful as Dual Wield was not, because yeah, not as big. How Dual Wield made PvP on the servers? If you didn't have rank five, it was impossible. Yeah, um, you couldn't compete at all. So obviously, think... there will still be a benefit of having the rank, but the actual like reason of like the actual system of whether someone can hop on an alt in PvP, obviously, um, that's a that's a different issue rather than a PvP yeah. issue. It seems like we're going back to really like old sky, which I like. I think one addition that I would like to see or that would be good would be some sort of adventure level. I don't think it's needed to the point that it got to at the old sky was where it got a lot more advanced, but just like a simple adventure level to kind of allow like some sort of you have to grind six hours in adventure to be able to compete, I guess. To kind of allow a little bit, so you can't go in on an alt. Like, mm, I get what you mean. Just a, like a way that. of level leveling up your personal adventure. Yeah, like a le level up to be able to either use a gear or something. I mean, obviously, they, like it'll change as it goes, but yeah, obviously, not some uh, not something we've done at the start. Um, you said it pretty well in the sense of like we've gone back to. Uh, older systems of Cosmic Sky, we've taken the best bits and then yeah. developed them into the new game mode that it's become. Uh, yeah. As for the adventure levels, obviously, it may be something we had down the line, but yeah, obviously not something we're starting with, but um, the actual core system of leveling up your player in a certain space is something we've always been a fan of. Yeah, so that will be returning, the level system? Uh, maybe not in the original form it was in, but something similar, in maybe. Some, some form? Okay, cool. All right, that's really all. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, how do I leave? It's just at the bottom. There you go. Unibeast. Um, hey, I have uh, two questions, I think. That's okay. The first one is, um, since there's no longer a Trustmate client, um, have the, like, because on Trustmate client, there used to be, like, an auto clear feature where it would, like, clear 5 CPS per minute or something. Uh, uh, oh, saying, yes. Will uh, that will that be a fin in some sort of way or mob helper? Like if I remember it, right, yeah, something like that. Um, there's nothing currently planned for that. No. Um, whether it's something that's done in the future, um, depending on like what we do, client-wise, mod-wise, um, that is obviously in the question, but um. And not something I can predict, but it's not something we're releasing with or replacing to to begin with. There, you can kind of consider. Uh, we have a Slayer Sam pet, which I believe was leaked this morning in the Changelog Skyblock, which kind of has a similar ability. Where if you just have it in your inventory, it's going to passively kill mobs every sixty seconds, oh, and depending sure. on the level of that pet, it will kill more percentages of mobs. So that. It isn't the same thing as the mob helper used to be on the Cosmic Client, but it definitely is a way to increase your slash IS Slayer skill while you're like AFKing overnight or something of that sort. Yeah. Um, and then also, will End Islands be a fin? Because I know that was very huge for late game. And not to begin I with. Probably a one on beta, but season one. Yeah. Not to begin with, but it's 
obviously it's not of the question to, to come as it did before where it's a mid-map sort of update where we've gotten a balance of because we, we still need to get the balance with the new farming system of I, island xp um so once we've got that it may be a mid-map thing uh, oh thank you um thank I'm you forward to playing see you awesome thank you thank you new farming system question mark question mark and not the leak people are probably thinking about it's different to when it was then tricky ricky hello 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 uh, i only have one question really the adventure is it old style adventure or still point system old style mobs around a chest okay and it, it, obviously you mentioned earlier about full pvp and then there being a potential another map where it's not full pvp so more information of that system will be provided obviously when we release the patch notes for beta everyone will get a full understanding of the game then um but we're trying our very best at the moment to balance so you're still gonna benefit more off going full pvp because that's not the balance that the lawful system gave so essentially consider it as a full pvp adventure because that is what it is but yeah. there may be a second space where it offers um similar loot um at a different rate is there still going to be a boss in the middle like as it used to be where you head towards mid wards get better on boss in the middle you take the boss on you get better wards the bosses will be a lot more exciting may they may not have changed in how like what they are still the bandit king um yeah. but they're a lot more exciting when it comes to the loot that they drop and the frequency that they spawn consider it more a server-wide event now a boss spawning okay cool all right that's what i wanted to know thank you Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Frosted. Oh, shit. Um, okay. Uh, just curious, like for our island, we were wondering via alliances, how big are the alliance sizes? I might have missed it earlier, but how big will those be? Uh, as far as I'm aware, 25 as well. Okay. And, then and then 25 max for island. The other question was is there a ro like a cooldown for alliance rotations like if we want to sub someone from one alliance to another is there a cooldown to do that or is it just instant um as far as i'm aware there's no rotation cooldown um at the moment okay perfect so i got thank you Yeah, it's something we're obviously looking at as the potential um, of either way, but yeah, it's um, something that you'll find out. It's another thing that will be 100% clarified in the beta patch notes. Hello. Hello, hello. Um, I was curious, what is the perk that's going to replace the dual wielding? Um, white scrolls of 100% gone from the server. There's no more white scrolls. Obviously, depending on what server you came from, white scrolls with Sky's equivalent of uh, keeping your gear on death. Yep. Uh, rank 5 will now give you the perk of uh, it's a 5% chance for your gear to be kept on death. Does that roll per item or overall? Um, it rolls uh, overall... I think it's max one one piece of armor that can be kept with the uh, perk. All right. Um. Will there be prize pools for IS top? Uh, prize pools for IS top. In what sense? Um, like PayPal or Bycraft. Uh, the actual rewards for rank top haven't been something we've discussed really so far. Um, it's something we'll get a grasp on more after beta, and something that will be available for map one. All right. Um, and will everything be available in game, like ranks and shit? I just uh, remember when Eula was implemented and it caused a bunch of problems. Everything from the store, essentially we're converting our store system to a more in-game system where as much as you can buy um, currency from the store, you can also get that currency from in-game. And then yeah. regardless of where you've got that currency from, it's, where you, it's what you'll use to purchase the store items that you know from before. Right. So... 
the currency will be the main thing that you purchase. All right, thank you. No worries. Shaggy. Yo, you. okay. I got three questions. If that's all right. That's um, so my first one is: Are you guys going to be working on season one during season? Uh, working on season two during season one. Uh, yes. So there'll um, be like short downtime, like maybe like a week or something. There'll be there'll be no downtime. Oh no! Okay, that's, that's kind of nice. It's always uh, how it's always been on Cosmic is the day. Oh wait, Sky was different, wasn't it? I mean. I think mm. Sky went down for like a week or something. Okay. Yeah, it went down for a week. I mean, ideally with the new system, it would be no downtime. It may be like a couple of hours whilst we reset everything, cause, yeah. um, but it shouldn't be um, as long as it was before, no? Okay, and then since you said there's no level cap, right? Mm-hmm. So a large island is just going to be able to make it to iron day one or, or what? I mean, if you get lucky, you will be able to go obviously to the later adventures. Uh, earlier than everyone else, but it's just the island progression, which obviously you can get the items for it. But how are the system we have for island top works now? Is it not? It's not necessarily about rushing to the end. It's about playing it strategically if you want to win. Fair enough. Um, and then last one is: Are there going to be player levels and roles like you can level up? Um, stuff. There's no player levels at the moment, no. Um, all those systems is like... They were essentially extras on top of the, the basics, which we just want to get the basics right first during beta, and then um, start adding the systems that we added, the same as on how we previously did it um, after that, after it's all good. Yep, sounds good. All right, I'll let someone else speak. Thank you, thank you, though. Please. Can I ask a quick question? Yes, you can. Am I able to play Cosmic Sky on Bedrock Minecraft? Yes, you are. Cool. <laughs> no Dope, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, so uh, first question is, when was Sky actually like, put back on the cards? Like, when did you start like, redevelop it again? Like, how long ago? Um, late last year. No worries. And um, is there any major influences or anything like invited or wanting to come and play to provide advertisements and stuff? It is our plan to get content creators, yes. Perfect. And will there be like any kit loot boxes or like top rank kits or anything similar to what prisons? I don't know. I think factions I don't know about Sky. But... Uh, rank kits wise, they're not the same as they were on Sky before. Um, they you can think of your rank kit now on sky more as it was on pvp and prisons where it's a lot um i guess less impactful towards the end of the season and it's gonna be more in fact impactful towards the beginning of the season yeah that's it no worries cheers thank you thank you thank you Duel. ah i'm back so <clears throat> will pvp um, be port pvp uh, what was that? Will, will there be pot PvP? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's yeah potion PvP. Yeah, yeah I, fi I figured. And then what will the damage levels be like? Like I remember seeing some clips of getting like three tapped with like that was the so like, all those clips will, were I'm just gonna be blunt. They were because of dual wield, and mm -hmm. for the people we've had on testing PvP, um, they were very happy with where it was damage wise, and we have. Um, adjusted a couple of en custom enchants to get um, to balance it even more so it's not 100% based off of one or two enchants on one weapon nice nice that sounds good okay and um, regarding auto clickers from mobs and pvp how would you guys look on that because banning yeah. and auto clicking is very difficult so would they just be allowed or they're not allowed no the, the anti cheat on sky was we never really had an issue with PvP when it came to uh, cheaters, as far as I'm aware. Um, obviously, the anti-cheat itself for other things wasn't as polished as it could have been. Um, however, um, obviously we'll have to tackle it as it comes, but we're prepared with um, what we have, 
I guess, when it comes to an anti-cheat, and then if it becomes an issue, we can address it then, but... Right, right. Um, and also, because we'll continue not to be allowed, is the base Great. Awesome. answer. Okay, thanks. Yep. Also, hello, Rob. Hello, hello. Oh my goodness. He was on his phone. It's fine. Oh, we just, we, oh, we just, we had the wind, and it's just like... It is breezy out. I'm just, uh, traveling. Sorry, guys. I'll mute my mic, but I'm here. No, 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 it's like, it's not bad. It's just like, yeah. Um, anyways, yeah. Um, Dactyls. I have invited you to I, join. I, Hello. Um, I got two questions. One of them is, is there anything for smaller islands to, like, be able to compete with the bigger islands that have more people? Or are you keeping it all the same for everyone? So... Obviously, there were, there were uh, there was the island top uh, league system, which was very unique to Sky. Uh, it's not something we're starting with. Um, as for competing later on, in the sense of that system, it may be something we look into. Uh, however, there are a lot of avenues now for smaller players to be able to um, still play the server and feel like they've gotten something out of it um, via new systems. Yeah. All right. And um, my other question uh, is, how are you looking at advertising for the server? Are you just going to get those main influences in, or are, they, are you doing any other methods? Um, oh, yeah, that'll be more a question what? for Rob. <laughs> um, <laughs> right now, especially at the launch of it, it's 100% going to be me, and definitely, I mean, it's supposed to be Preston as well. Um, on his Minecraft channel. I can't necessarily confirm that, but that's the uh, one of the one of the major plans. But that's just at release. Like we want to definitely go low and slow with this. Um, definitely like take our time. This isn't something we want to just release and have up for a month and try and get like a bunch of YouTubers to promote it for a month and everyone gets excited. We're like, okay, cool, peace, bye. Um, that's not the the goal we want to. You know, that's why we've like taken our time to develop. We've done the alpha. We're gonna do like the next steps. Take our take a do it do it right um so if it goes well and it's working well on my channel it's working well on Preston's channel like we're gonna absolutely put budget behind like getting more more people but youtubers these days are freaking expensive man <laughs> it's like it's pretty wild so hopefully we can find some like mutual interest um from people who just want to like play minecraft and and like who care um where it like works for both parties but yeah no People, people are XPs. Yeah. Also, that, being, uh, that being said, just to add, the actual creator role in-game for Sky, like the Twitch and YouTuber rank, is planned on being made a lot more accessible. Because obviously before, it, it may not be the same as it was before, but the actual rank itself in-game will be more accessible. More Twitch streamers. Exactly. I love, I love streaming... Sky was definitely my favorite to to stream and like make long form content on. I think it's such a good, um, it's such a good like Twitch game. Like PvP, not really because everything's secretive. And then prisons, you're kind of just mining a block for a few hours. But I feel like Sky, there's so much to do. Um, so I'm looking forward to like watching people stream on Twitch, especially the yeah. Like I'll be, I'll be there. I've got some bits to drop. I think left over. So yeah, the um. There'll be an application system opened up pretty soon, at least definitely before beta, where obviously you can apply, um, and then we will consider based off of uh, a multitude of things. We will consider Twitch way over YouTube, though. Yes. Um, like, if you're just making a, a like one video on Cosmic Sky and you're like, I did a thing, we're going to be like, okay, no. Um, but like obviously consistent content, which is like really hard to do. It's like that's like really tough. But like on on Twitch, like if you're streaming consistently on Twitch, and frankly, it doesn't really matter how many views you get. Like if you're just streaming, um, I think that'd probably be the best way for mm -hmm. people to make like content on Sky. Yep. All right. Awesome. Uh, Eldram, is there also going to be coin flips? There are <laughs> coin flips. Yes. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Cheers. And for those who are going to be wondering right now, item flips are not in the game to start with, but we've heard you about wanting them. So, 
expect Why are there them. So many W's to coin flips, man. Like uh, they've missed coin flips. Like I could you not? I think I put a screenshot of a coin flip uh, when the server opened up, and there was a lot of W's as well. Yo, y'all are degens. <laughs> Y'all are straight degens. Oh my god. To be fair, we do need um it's good that Slayer's here. I would I personally would love um like the jib races on prisons was my favorite gamble. Oh the jib races, the jib championship. Jib, jib, jib. I I thought those were sick. I actually like I actually messed with them. I remember when we came up with that. It was uh Tater came into a call with me and he was like, I've been talking to some prisons players and they came up with this idea and I was like Let's do it, but with sheep. Yeah. And then, yeah, uh, yeah okay, that's, nice. that's when Je Jeff came. Awesome. Uh, gentlemen, I've invited Wait, you to how speak. How many more left? Like, I got uh, There's, I mean, we'll see how long this goes, like, uh, this list goes for, but people obviously keep adding to it, so. Oh my hey. god. Hello? Hi. Hello. Right, so you said cough is once a week, right? Yep. But because I'm EU and Fishy is NA, how are we gonna meet together? Free for ACST on a Saturday. So that's nine thirty your time, three thirty yeah, his yeah. time. That's past Betty. Betty it's actually ten thirty. It's actually ten thirty. Okay. Oh no. But uh, yeah, and then <clears throat> because it's a uh, fourteen new helpers, right? Are you thinking about mods? Is that gonna be like? In the time of beta, or so most likely people will be upgraded to mod or promoted, not upgraded um, to mod during beta. There'll be a couple, uh, obviously the ones who have more experience, who have prior experience, um, and yeah. But having a bigger staff team is never a bad thing. And uh, are you guys adding more helpers? Yes. Okay. We plan on having around twenty to thirty. That's a big amount. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you. Thank you, thank so. you. That accent's so cool, man. <laughs> That's the coolest I, accent. Yeah, I was, he was in the public channel uh, this morning, so and cool. I was, um, yeah, he was playing League, and I was very and much enjoying America, it. America, we got it so boring. It's like, yeah, hey, man, it's a let's region diff. English. <laughs> Yeah, but then all the North Americans are making fun of any sort of EU accent, especially British. When people make fun of you, it's because they're jealous. Bottle of water. True. True. Water. Bottle of water. Anyways, questions. Mongolian Warlord. I like that name. Oh, God. So for AFK alt, would you need one for the whole entire island? Do you need multiple accounts to spread across the whole entire island? Island size is reduced. I'm not, I can't give 100% on that answer, but it will be dramatically less than it was. Okay, and is there an open or a closed beta? Uh, open in the sense of it will be a lot more accessible than just being invited. Well, open in, open in the sense of like not as closed as the alpha was. But... Closed, but you're going to have to like, you know, buy us dinner without actually buying dinner. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay. Talking McDonald's state. Uh, yeah, he already left, so. <laughs> yeah, wait, did someone kick him or did he leave? <laughs> no, he just left. Yo, hello. Hello. Yo, I was wondering, do you guys already have a release date for beta? Uh, no solid release date, no. I mean, we have had a bunch of changes come through from the alpha, and it honestly just depends on the speed of getting those refined to a cosmic standard. Um. Okay. Whether that uh, happens guess, in a week. Guess, Belgium, we can say the alpha went really well mm -hmm. and everything worked as intended, which is a pretty good sign. <laughs> That's why we're having yeah. this QA. It's well, not like we just... did the alpha and we were like, oh my God, it, you know, everything <laughs> yeah. broke. People couldn't play and we had to like reevaluate the whole code. Like, um, Sam did an amazing job at getting it like totally workable. And so that's why we're doing the QA. So it's obviously. So, it'll be, to give a rough estimate in the sense of, it's not an definite, we'd hope it would be in the next couple of weeks. Okay, and a last question. Do you know what the length would be for the beta? Two to three weeks. Two to three weeks? Yeah. 
Very nice. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Turtle. Oh. Turtle got a special high. Oh, God. This is Pippi. You remember Pippi. Uh, I'm out. I'm <laughs> Rob, when's Locke's getting his plush? <laughs> uh, so, I got seven questions, but they're all just like yes or no. Can I just fire through them quickly? Mm -hmm, that's fine. Uh, will rap be a thing? Like questions not left. Will rap be a thing? Uh, rap is in the sense of the highest top reward, right? As in Locke's type 1, 2, and 3. Um, yeah, rap top. The, the original rap from the server, no. The yeah. reward we give for the new system is not 100% yet, but there will be something similar. Uh, will showcase still be a thing? Yep. Uh, will slash vote be a thing for just publicity or just rewards in general? Slash what, sorry? Uh, slash vote. No. Oh, slash vote. No. Okay. Uh, slash vote. Fucking you get, just, you get you know, something. Those, like, Minecraft you know, server lists, you I can... Know what yeah. it is. I know what it is, but you know what I mean? That's a stupid question. No. <laughs> yeah. uh, what about heroic or mythic chests? Um, heroic and mythic chests, you mean in the adventures? Yes, they are back. They are still there. Uh, will there be custom armor sets? Anything uh, fade, even just a farming set that increases like ten percent crop. Yes. Um, and then will you still be able to fly on an island without top rank, such as like fly orbs, island upgrade, or alliance upgrades? Yes. And then will carnage still be a thing? But like as they were before, with a max set every couple minutes instead of like prisons where you had to AFK to get anything to do on carnage. Whoa, that shots at prisons there. Yeah, well, um, prisons carnage was so shit. Oh, okay. Slayer. Well, <laughs> Slayer. <laughs> I'm gonna ban this man. <laughs> um, carnage will be the same as it was before in Sky. Yeah, yes. Let's get through the beta first, baby. All right, chill. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's not gonna be a carnage in beta. Yeah. Okay. Right, Just to clarify it. as well, showcases wise, it's not your old showcase that will still be there. It's just the showcase system still exists. Will there be showcase expanders still, though, instead of just... Yes. Yeah, okay. Thank I you. wish, man. I wish we could bring the old showcases through. That'd be so yeah. sick. Yeah, I wish as well. I wonder if we I can, would... like... We uh, can't. We can't. No, I know. No, we, can't. It... Thinking, like... we can't. Uh, that's so sad. It's so sad. Okay. But it's not sad, because here we are. And you can make new you can make new memories. I new memories, guys. Okay. Okay, we can stop right. with the sloppy shit. I'm back. Um Will eventually be like full PvP where you if you lose your like uh if you die you lose your set? Or, or will there be a way to like yeah, I'll be right back. Uh, do adventure without losing your set? There will be a way of doing adventure without losing your set, but the main adventure people go to So no, let me let me rephrase, sorry. Um mm -hmm. Your set that you make, you won't be able to use in this alternate adventure. Um, but the core adventure will be PvP and full PvP, correct? Yes. Okay. So, well, the like other alternative, system, alternative well, the other alternative will be something, uh, a different system, but it won't involve any items that you've made outside of the adventure. Oh, okay, so it's like a, you go into adventure with like nothing, and you just build your set in there, correct? Um, not that exactly that, not exactly that, sort of? but it's yeah. a similar sort of system. Okay, I understand. Alright, thank you. Yeah, I don't wanna, uh, sorry for the, um, uh, what's the word? Not giving 100% of the information, it's just we're still refining the information, so we don't wanna give it until, um, it's 100%. And uh, it will be in the beta update, like the beta patch notes. But vague. Huh? You're being vague. I'm being vague. Yeah, there you go. That's the word. Vagueness. All right. Uh, just one question for you. Um, as far as item skins go, how are those going to be implemented, or will they even be implemented at all? No item skins now. No item skins. Okay. Same for custom blocks. I'm back. Welcome back. Good question. Um, anyway, that was a very good question. No more item skins. No more item skins. 
Hello? I don't know. We gotta we gotta communicate with Rob uh, across the room. Wait, hold on, Kev. What was the question? Whether whether item skins are still a thing. It wasn't this guy. It was the previous. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm cool. Good question. Okay, Calvin. Okay, I was gonna ask: Is there gonna be like different types of leaderboards, like from prison standpoint, where you just have like a blocks top, raid top, gang top? It's gonna be like different ways players can get themselves in like a ranking. Um, there is slash top, which has a couple of different <laughs> um uh, methods to be uh on top, I guess. Um, yep. there's not as many as there was on Sky because obviously we've removed a lot of the systems, but. Um, once we've refined the core systems that we have, there will be expansions of slash top. Yes. Okay. Um, is there going to be gift card bundles? Uh, that is something that you're going to have to wait and see. Okay. And uh, final question: Is there any sort of uh, not back in chance so I can hit people away? Is so any sort of what? Uh, uh, any sort of what? I didn't understand that well, last part. I was hoping that uh, you know, like the not back skin would be in there somewhere. You know how like presents had the rocket skin. Oh yeah, there's no shockwave slime. Uh, I mean, oh, Jesus. You can get vanilla and knockback from enchantment books, but um... yeah, but if you're hitting an EU player, they don't exactly move. So well, that sounds like a skin. skill issue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sounds yeah. like you're never on the top of those leaderboards, there, Calvin. Um, I've been in the top multiple times, thank you. And Geranium, I'm going to drain you if they add coin flipping. See you guys later. <laughs> How'd I get out of here? Wait. Okay. Uh, and leave, leave the station. <laughs> I just started throwing personal attacks. Oh, hello, I've just been added back one second. Go, get out of here! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Epic. There you go. Hello. Hello. My question is, considering there's likely to be a lot of new players coming in in the first couple seasons, what are the plans for things like, I know we had a wiki in the past, we had a tutorial island. What kinds of resources are there going to be for new players to get integrated into the game? We have slash tutorial. you got work to do, Epic. <laughs> we have slash tutorial now, which is a version of the challenges and a version of the uh, tutorial island. Not somewhere where you have to go, but essentially a stem of um, tutor like tutorials, I guess, is the best way of saying it, where it teaches you how to play the game. Uh, as for the wiki, um, I mean, I'm never going to say no. Um, obviously, the wiki is very good. I don't use the wiki. I don't have stats on that. Like, I think the slash challenges was the best way to learn Sky, and we could just make that even more robust um, down the road. I think there's also, like, a potential of having... Because I like the rewards you get from slash challenges. Like, it helps you get through the start of the map as a, as a veteran player and as a not a veteran player. But it'd be cool if there was a more in-depth tutorial that players can get and the rewards are actually not like useful really for any sort of high tier player maybe like a little bit of cash and whatever and you do it you can like opt into it or maybe even just opt out of it um might be a cool idea but i feel like that was a much better way to learn than yeah the wiki like like i don't know i feel like a new yeah, player is going to read the wiki on like how do i like which enchant stack <laughs> like I, don't know. I guess it would just be a uh, if we were to do it, it would be the wiki would be less focused on providing like how to information. It would just be on uh, providing more information on the items, which may not be like fully available in game. So it's like, like I ain't if you want to, you know, what I'm yeah, saying? like if someone wants to set it up for free, go for it. But I ain't paying for it. Oh my so god. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I guess there had also been talks like. Not serious talks, but I know in the past people had brought up like an interactive tutorial system where you could go in and, and run through a demo of something. Um, Essentially, that's what tutorial is, where it gives you those. Um, it gives you what you need to be able to start to play the game. Or if not, no tells you how. Did tells you. How, I mean, we did have a lot of people going to Tutorial Island, but. Really? We mainly had like the I mean, tutorial on prisons, which like walk you through how to do things. Yeah, you could opt yeah. out of it. But we yeah. never really had anything like that on Sky. Well, no, it's slash yeah. challenges. It's the same. It's the same thing. But it's like the availability of the area on prisons is, is a lot different to the like availability we have on Sky because obviously on prisons you could go through a mine and uh, that mine would be one thing for everyone, whereas we'd have to have individual islands for every single player that logs onto the server. So if we just do it through a system which essentially everyone gets, which starts off your game, um, 
that's the best way of doing it on Skyblog, I guess. Okay, next question. Um, all right. Yeah. Bye. Bye, Epic. Thank you, Epic. Oh my god, okay. this is expanding. Hello. I know this is a Cosmic Sky Q&A, but can we get anything on prisons? As to be fair, I'm surprised it's taken up until this point for anyone to ask about it. No, they've been um, in chat. They've been in chat. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Obviously, it's pretty obvious if there's a success with Sky that it wouldn't. it would be dumb not to do it. But until there's that, we have felt out what Sky is. Um, we're not going to obviously make a definite call, but just know that if Sky yeah, is successful, like, yeah. it will most likely happen. Like, Definitely. Yeah. Totally transparently, because like, why not? Y'all, y'all came here today. When the initial conversations started, we looked at all the servers. It, it wasn't like um, something happened in which we like Sky. Um, was now you know relaunchable or whatever uh we just looked at all of them and, and sky seemed the most um like least friction to get it working in 1.20 and like the new systems and the new uh versions of minecraft than any of the other servers like prisons is just became such a rich game by the end um and we just kind of like yeah we like looked at we all everyone like met regarding it and kind of like chatted uh what would be the 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 best start um we'll see where it goes we'll see where it goes i'd be really interested like in in what you think from prisons was so enjoyable because i love prisons i mean sorry sky like i mean i put the most hours into prisons and i love the pr prisons the most but um personally not from a um, perspective just playing like what was it about prisons that you love that maybe we can also incorporate onto sky Okay, so prisons was just like the PvP was just so unique, if that makes sense. Like it, there was nothing like it, and like you go on any other server and there's no like it's just not the same. Like you mine, I guess the mining was so unique. Also, also the cells. Like I was just mentioning every feature of Cosmic Prisons yeah, okay. now. I, I mean, it. it was just all peak. It was peak. Okay. Well, I'm hey, I I appreciate that. I agree. The only yeah, problem agree. was skins. And my once you added skins, mm. yeah. That was but was the idea. actual was the actual problem skins, or was it the core like thing behind skins? And that's just power creep. If skins were done differently, would have been better with skins. Skins would. I think the problem is the broken skins. Like supernova was. People yeah, the were core able issue. To core issue of that is power able... creep. Yeah, 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 but people were able to sit inside their cells with a supernova and make the same amount, if not more, than people who would PvP in Emerald Mine. Yeah, I mean, like, obviously power creep became an issue on all three servers. So, yeah. um, with us not doing weekly updates, that's going to be a lot, lot, lot less evident. Okay, thank you guys. Bye-bye. Thank you, thank you. Obviously, this... Um, uh, we kind of cut short on the prisons aspect there, but if you guys want to get a thread together of like genuine features that you enjoyed so much from prisons, that would be something we'd love okay, to next see. Next question. Uh, greasy crib, three, two, one. I gotta go soon. I got three more minutes. Hello. Okay, uh, so just a couple before, of questions before you ask. In three okay. minutes, I'm gonna shut the request to speak. So, if you want to ask another question, request to speak within the next three minutes. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah, just a couple questions. Um, one of the main features of Sky that I liked was the 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 gold store. Is there any plans of that coming back in the future? The gold store is uh is a thing. It is back to what it was before, in the sense oh, of, uh, you can use gold to purchase. Um, as long as the gold store is yeah. what it was in uh, map fifteen. No, it's okay. more like it was in map five um, or ten. Map three or so four, since yeah. I'm a I'm a big islander, um, are like island quests and player levels coming back, or are those going to be? Did I just out himself as an islander. That's crazy. <laughs> big rude. Um, island quests and you said player, um, player level, right? Yeah, player levels. Um, so player levels, it's not something we're releasing with because we just want to get the core right first. Uh. Island quests, 
There is a, a different system uh, which we're implementing, which is similar to that uh, through the IS top mechanic with how we're doing that now. The actual quests themselves, uh, they're going to be redone more like quests down the line because obviously what we had before wasn't really a quest. Uh, mm. It was more of an objective, a quest we want to be more engaging. So we're going to redo those down the line. Really, islands should be uh, island should be kind of priority always, um, ideally, and everything else more complementary. So I think we're kind of taking that idea going forward because I am also an island man. So. Um, and then one final question: Are we releasing with all the realms that were like we had at the end of last maps, or are they only going to be the basic like fishing, mining, and ferry? The four original ones. Well, obviously there was five original ones. We're releasing with four of them, and we're not releasing with Bandit Assault. Okay. Oh. So no, no more cooking, Mama. Okay, wait, hold on. Before the next question, I got to make sure. Um... Oh, I mean, Grace, you can, you can, you can dead, but just give me one second. Now we all get to kind of just sit here and twiddle our thumbs. Yep. Last chance to join the queue if you haven't already. She already closed it. Yeah, just someone needs to just, have. yeah, someone needs to like play some elevator music. I mean, there's music in here. You can unmute the music. It's not very yeah. good, though. Okay, yeah, we're not unmuting that. Yeah, uh, you can close it now if you want. No more, no more hands up. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, why do you do that? Like six more people joined. No, only one did, and someone else <laughs> disconnected. That would be yeah, who fun. who unraised who unraised their hand when they were trying to spam raise it? Unlucky to you. It should play the weed music. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I got like a um, aggressive thunderstorm warnings where I'm at, and I think I have to travel during it. So I got that's the re that's why I got to probably dip. But maybe that's like all good. More. Yeah. Okay. Dip. You are the final, the chosen one. I mean, hello, you, hello. I mean, um, we're keeping going. We're keeping going. Just so you all know after that. But your final uh, one for Rob. Yeah, yeah, so sorry, we're sorry. not bringing any custom blocks or skins back. Are we going to still have custom recipes? Yes. All right. And it's, it's a system we plan to expand a lot more off of um, where as we go. Obviously, it, we didn't really touch it towards the end. We left the custom recipes that were, but it's something that we want to introduce more and more of. Um, but they'll be the basic ones to start off with. All right, and can we preemptively ban Hunter and Uranium? Uranium's staff, so um, that might be a bit hard. Hunter, I can like, I can, I can sort that though. All right, thanks. No worries. Cool. All right, one more. Boogie. I like your name. <laughs> Yo, I just have two questions. Um, the first question is: In Sunny, it's going to be allowed or not? Um, not something we've fully considered yet, but it's not something we'd want to. We, we, it's probably gonna be in now, but it's ju it's it, it's just how we're gonna enforce it because we don't have uh, a lot of the tools we had before. So it's not something that's it's ninety nine point nine nine percent not gonna be allowed. But oh, my it's just how. Question yeah. Is uh, Synclastic, will you marry me? Um. I'm flattered, but uh, you're gonna have I to deny. Talking, I was talking to see classic. Ah, oh, fantastic. Okay. Hunter, the person who's gonna yeah, be banned gonna... from the server. I'm gonna go. <laughs> that was awkward. Indeed. Yeah. But uh, my and... question is for for just the island. What's the max player amount? Uh, twenty-five. Uh, are slots still a thing? Yes. Um, is there any more like? Wait, before you ask that, if you ask any more duplicate questions, you will get banned. It isn't anymore. We're good. Right. <laughs> is there any more options for gambling, like blackjack or like a casino? Um, 
There's no. Ah, uh, I think yeah. everyone like likes the idea of blackjack. Got the that one. server-wide jackpot, and you've got coin flips. I Who's gonna be on slash monster. jackpot top? Uh, anything to do with like robots or like auto like the like, auto thing, for example, like an auto crafter stuff like that. There's auto crafters, yeah. All right, what about like uh, I forgot what they were called, but they used to like mine blocks for you. Uh, and not all oh, all the bots are still a thing. All right, okay. And then uh, to end it, bring back cosmic PvP. I mean, that's it. Uh, as as we said before, if the demand is there, it's something we will definitely consider, and we'd be stupid not to. Same goes for prisons. Where's that one bot we did? Bomba. 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 Hello. Hello. Um, I have three questions. I know that uh, level cap and funds aren't a thing anymore, but since there's a new farming system, will quotas be a thing? Uh, quotas aren't a thing either, no. Um, and then, will the realm time limit be the same? Uh, 30 minutes, I think. Correct me if I'm more Apple. Uh, it's going to stay at 10 minutes for now. Oh, there you go. That's how we change it towards the end of the uh, last um, seasons, and plus spending 30 minutes in the realms is a lot more to play than just 10 minutes. But I'm um, open to change if we go through the beta and have feedback. But yeah. And then will the realm layout stay the same, or is it different? Uh, same layout for realms. Uh, it's the OG, or one of the OG farming realm maps. Um... And then the rest is the same. Oh, wait, no, it's the OG Enchanted Fairy one as well, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat. Chat shouldn't... Oh, chat hasn't played. Something like they're... Some, I mean, the chat who has seen It's Fearless's YouTube channel. Whoa, how did... Fearless wasn't in the office. <laughs> um, that's it. Awesome. Thank you, thank you. Uh, baked. Oh, this is a mobile. Please don't oh, be yeah. a bad mic. Uh, okay, you're good. You're, you know you're good. You're good. You're good. I, I see a mobile uh, and I, I get scared. But yeah, you're fine. Ah, uh, yeah, no, no. It, it should be alright. Yeah, you're okay, good. So, so the question was, uh, I heard from my friend that you said it's gonna be only three ranks, one, two, and three. Is that right, or there's gonna be five? There is three ranks. Yes. Um, yeah, only three. There's, so. there's no longer five. There's rank one, rank two, rank three. The names, if you know, you know. If you don't, you have to wait and uh, see. I don't, know. I don't know. Okay, so that's what I wanted to ask. I have one more question. Uh, so on the open, the Rob said something about paying for beta. Uh, is that gonna be open like for free, or you have to buy into bet? Free. You know, you won't have to buy in. Yeah, yeah, I was scared when Rob said you would have to buy us a dinner. Uh, uh, Rob is trolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have friend uh, messaging me right now to ask when is release date, and I know you guys said already that. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, date, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's not so, something we know the release date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you, MJ. You're listening all time, and you're asking still. Nope. Uh, okay, that's it. Thank you. Settle. Hello. Um, I have a few things to ask, but the first thing is, um, can you make it so when you add to ICFs that we can CF everything? Because on prisons, you couldn't CF certs. Uh, that is something we'll have to decide when that system, if that system is implemented. Okay. Um, will you guys ever like consider like crash so we can put like slots on crash? Um. A uh, future mechanic. I don't know what crash is, so um, yeah. Okay. Um, the mask system. Like, is there any way you can lose your masks, or is it just like you keep it for the season? The mask system. Yeah, where you, hmm. you claim masks, do slash masks, equip it. How would you know that? What because do you mean? You guys forgot the whitelist server team. Mm. Uh -huh. Or was it intentional? Uh -huh, uh -huh. What do you That's mean? What That's what they say. Um, um so. masks is going to be more of a player buff for the season if you get your mask it is a buff you will receive for the season you'll be oh, able to equip or remove the mask uh you cannot lose the mask 
but they will uh, they will be obtained for this uh, the whole season. Okay, and also Epic was talking about like whatever he was talking about waffle, but make it so slash help like just says message minor. Like oh uh, message minor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and uh, the last thing, the progress the progression system, will it be like before or will it be like? Because people are mean? scared it's gonna kill ass. What do you like, mean? Gonna, like, it, like what? People are gonna think it. People think it's gonna feel like before, like the progression. What do you mean? Like how you make money, how you get shit, because people want different. I mean, all, obviously, all we've taken a combination of old systems, that? new systems. So the way you get loot is going to be completely different. The actual use for, for example, money is going to be completely changed. Oh, yeah, I I um, like the we originally removed the um, requirement to use money to level up your island. We've now re-added that. Um, oh, okay. There is a lot of changes we've made, which. As much as we can speculate on how it's going to work, we have to watch you guys play it in beta. Okay. Sounds good. The rank names are Comet, Titan, and Galactic, by the way, everyone. All right, bye-bye. Get him out of here. He's banned. He's banned. Yeah, hey, uh, if you didn't know it already. No, it's Changed fine. since then. <laughs> um, hello. Um, so, first off, uh, we've banned it as well. Um, Alrighty. And then also, uh, will Origins be a thing? Origins? Uh, no, not not for the start. Okay. Uh, and you mentioned farming sets earlier. Will those be like, like will it be like a level one farming set and then level two of each crop, or will it just be one farming set? Um, the actual. Uh, set the set itself is going to be similar to like for example your fairy set where you get the attributes on the gear so it'll be just one set of gear with attributes on um, and then uh, there will be also new attributes which will be obtained from um, I guess rarer places which will be obvious and you'll be able to grind towards outside of realms on your island uh, cool uh... And like, it's just is the IS layer IS farming progression thing is that still the same? Like, is it you have to kill a certain amount of this mob or farm a certain amount to unlock the nest? So yes. Go ahead. We remove the Ender Island tier of skillables such as the Enderman, the Cocoa Beans, and the Emerald Nodes. Other than that, IS mining and IS Slayer. They no longer require slash IS upgrades, and of course they're scaled um, about the same when it comes to like how many mobs the previous tier you have to do, and then farming has been tweaked a little bit more than the other two. Farming has been completely redone. Yes. And one last question, will level caps be money, or...? It's there is no level cap. No, not level cap, um, like upgrading levels, like... Getting from level to make sure three, three make sure of both. You'll need an XP okay. requirement to be met, and then you'll purchase the level. Uh, and you, that's all. Awesome, thank you. Midnight Slayer. Oh my God, we have another Slayer coming in. Okay, my question is: uh, Are the custom like gem enchants still going to be in here? Custom enchants will exist, yes, and they have been, when it comes to PvP, tweaked, um, and when it comes to islands, um, tweaked as well, uh, and then we have plans on adding more island gems, but the actual core gems themselves have been tweaked when it comes to PvP, which I assume what you're asking for. Are, are they still going to take uh, sockets on the armor to... Okay. Yes. All right, and then my other question is, are socket expanders and pets going to be more common, like, to just get a hold of in general? Um, the loot tables for adventures is still something we're working on. 
Um, however, pets themselves is obviously something we, we want to make more accessible with the new pet system. Uh, socket expanders, uh, it... I guess it depends what sort of balance we have with the loot in the adventures. It's not something I can tell you yet. All right, that was my question just on the gems and shit for gear sets. Awesome, thank you. I invited you. There you go. Yep. Hello. Okay. Um. I uh, wanted to ask if, besides gems and masks, would there be anything else to add to sets like totems and stuff like that? Like, um, uh, during PvP. So, you obviously have your mask, which um, is no longer a mask as you knew it before. It's more considered as a player buff. Um, there is pets, which are pretty similar. Um, there is also... Um, what else is there? Uh, no... Oh, you go ahead. You've got your vanilla enchantments, of course, like you buy XP with the book and you can get like sharpness efficiency, just build out your set like that. And then, of course, you've got your custom enchants and uh, we are still using the um, tiered socket system. So you have like boss sockets, legendary sockets, elite sockets, whatnot. Which means you'll have the corresponding like socket expanders for each of those as well. And if you have a boss enchant, you can only go into a boss socket and all that fun stuff. Essentially, we want to get the base of PvP right and then start adding new... Um, new things, but obviously with new things comes the worry of power creep, so we just want to make sure that it's done in a correct way, so we want to get the base correct first. Okay, uh, are white scrolls going to be a thing? No. Thank god. Um, someone asked me this, are the features that you're leaving out, such as end islands and autos already coded and just not being implemented, or if you're going to have to totally recode them and eventually add them back? Uh, recode. Essentially, we've brought forward everything we wanted from the original server, um, and it would be best at this point to recode those systems. Um, Ender Islands is obviously a lot easier than, uh, for example, Outposts, because it's based off of the core mechanics we currently have. Outposts it would be a new system, so it's not something out of the question for uh, a sooner timeline, but it's not something that we want to start with. Okay, thanks. I'll, I'll let the next guy. He he will answer all of the questions in chat. Peace. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Uh, is everyone's favorite place Dead Zone gonna be returning? Dead Zone will be making a return. Yes. Um, Holy. It may not be at the beginning of beta, but it's definitely going to be um before map one. Um. Okay, and okay. yeah, Dead Zone. It may not be exactly how it left off as well. Don't worry, Captain. He is back. Um, I don't think is is uh, Enderman still going to be a thing in Third Adventure and teleporting from across the map to keep you in combat at all moments? No. Thank God, man. Um, just just so just some clarification on that as well. Obviously, the custom mobs in Adventure, they still exist, some of them, but they're a lot more uncommon. It's kind of like a, a special thing if you find the mob. It just means that chest is going to be slightly harder to loot, but the majority of mobs are the base ones, the original ones. And we have gotten rid of Cave Spiders in the first Adventure, and Endermen in the third Adventure. That's a W. All right. No more um, Beyblade so Cave Spiders. No Creepers in the second Adventure, though. We'll get you. True, true. Kaboom. Um, will quest like not player? Well, I guess there were player quests. Will they be returning the quest kits and stuff like that? Uh, quests will be returning. Obviously, not something we're releasing with. We want to redo them in an actual quest format because currently how they were, it was just a challenge that like you had to go do something. Whereas a quest, we want to have a bit more of a, I guess, storyline to it when you get one. All right, all right. And you talked about this other version or the other place of uh opposite of not opposite but uh instead of regular adventure with ko how how are you planning on implementing this will you be able to go in this other place and get like grind the hardest places or how you is will, um you'll be able to enter it yeah the, spe the specifics of like it will be announced 
uh, beta patch notes, but it's something we're working very hard to make it so that it doesn't become an instance of um, lawful PvP where no one's going to go chaotic again. The chaotic adventures will be the main place, but it will be an option to go to this other place as well. Obviously, we need a fair balance for the people who don't want to participate in PvP, but PvP needs to still have a benefit to it. Right, all right. And the last one, has there been any, any uh, enchants removed or uh, new enchants added already? Yes. Um, a lot of the boss enchants, which were um, uh, OP as such, uh, got removed. The power creep ones that were introduced. And Why then... Not? Uh, yes, a couple of enchants that um, were OP on just one tool in PvP uh, have been changed around, and a couple of enchants have been added to mitigate certain situations. Alright, alright. I'll leave you and, with uh, that. Last one, last thing. Um, Will Mulberry be returning so that we can have Owen get the title again? Uh, yes, that's something uh... to do, right? Uh, not for beta, but we know you guys want it, so it's not something that's not going to return. Alright. Well, thanks for that. No worries. Tricky Ricky. Hello. Um, Hello. Permission notes, are they going to be still in the game? Yes. Yep. Okay, cool. And is there any chance of clue scrolls being added to Sky? Potentially a future update. I mean... Obviously, they were fun on prisons. I enjoyed doing the clue scrolls. Yeah. Um, but it's potentially. Well. I mean, there is a some there is a similar system. To clue scrolls, which we've added for islands, which we'll let you guys read in the about in the beta patch notes. Um, but yeah. yeah. Definitely I'll leave make you a with suggestion that. post on that clue scroll thing because that would definitely be interesting. But yeah, we've got we cooked on something for islands. Okay, you didn't already. Sure. If you're an island member, you're going to look forward to uh, wanting to to grind, shall we say? And that's uh, that's how I will leave it. Horror, right, mateys. Hello. Hello. So I know you said about in the future having YouTubers, but is there mm. any plans to have a Cosmic Sky TikTok slash YouTube channel where you post shorts on for content? Um, so, I mean, nothing immediately planned. I mean, obviously it makes sense, but it's obviously another resource which we need to consider whilst we're still uh, running the server. It's another responsibility and uh, you need to be pretty good at that sort of stuff for it to take off. So, I mean, it's smart, don't get me wrong, but it's not something, I guess, which is a priority, a priority for the start of the server. Yeah, thanks. That's it. No worries. Where are you gonna see uh, Cosmic Sky on your TikTok soon? We'll um, we get some TikToks made of memeing people. Yo. I don't know. Hello. Okay. Just a just a few questions, simple questions. Um. Three. All right. Let's just let's just get straight to it about the enchants. Injury and Saul still exist or no? Yes. But not in the way they were before. I don't tell okay. them that. I mean, I already did technically, right, but... Uh, are triple boss weapons still still a thing? Maybe. You'll have to see, you'll have to see when Maybe. bosses come out. Uh, are there more slots on the weapon now that there's only uh, one? No longer dual wield? Who knows? Mm, the you mean like enchantment slots... gems? Yes, the amount like, of... can, you apply, can you apply more more like sockets to... like Now that you only have one axe. You'll still have the limitation of like only being able to apply sockets like to a thing that doesn't already have a socket of that tier, I believe. But when it comes to like having like multi sockets and whatnot, those are gonna be like exclusive drops from adventures or other like unique tables. Okay. And then uh I don't know if this was asked, so I left it for last. Uh what's the deal with totems? We're not hundred percent decided yet. Uh, obviously you got them from we got them from Abyss, so they'll probably not exists to begin with, but it's not something that's off the table, but yeah. Okay, that's it. Thank you, thank you. Whew. Ten left. Eleven. Yo, yo, no, yo. <laughs> What's good? Hello, hey, hello. Ron. So I had to ask this, but I'm like, okay, let me put some perspective. 
in, back in the day. It's 2019 Cosmic, okay? Cosmic Sky, map one. I see a guy there, bro. I'm like, all right, here we go. Here's my come up, my one. All right, I take the one. I had this kid in a combo. I'm like, okay, okay, I got this. I'm about to kill bro. Bro turns around, right clicks, hits me twice because he has top rank. So I have to know, is bleed and dual build still going to be a thing? Like, is it going to be that much of an advantage? Dual build, it does not exist now. Okay. I mean, the concept is cool. Like, if a faction was to work together, they get it. But, yeah. Dual build does I not ask. exist. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's what I ask. Okay. Thank you. No worries. Hey, hey, Ron. Hippie. Ah, uh, so I got, like, 13, something questions, maybe 12. Still. You get well, three. you can you can have okay. you can have half of them. I guess three. Okay, so for no liner, will there be a recap list anywhere, like a YouTube video, TLDR, anything like that? Wait, what do you mean? Sorry. Will there be like a recap of this, like a recorded anywhere uploaded, so people who missed it can re reread? Or re we are or recording it. Uh, there will, will be a FAQ channel made it. Made it, made after this, uh, which has a bunch of the questions that were asked here, so people can um, review that in their own free time, and it and it will uh, be made it, yes. Uh so if there is a tutorial, will it be skippable? Because on Prison's tutorial, if you skipped it, you lost like seventy five percent XP gain till you hit the required thing to pass the tutorial, which was just annoying. There you can't no tutorial you... like that. The only tutorial is like your slash quest or your slash challenges, which is now slash tutorial as well, which is always going to be there throughout the season, even if you don't do them at the start of the map, but it's essential to do them basically. Okay. Um, I mean, they're, they're not something for a top player that takes more than 20 minutes, anyways. Yeah. Uh, so, is. Oh, God. Uh, can we get a proximity chat in Adventure? Just, I don't know, it seems fun. Way too service. hard, I way wish. too hard to moderate, unfortunately, especially okay, for cosmic yeah, players. Yeah, understandable. Will skill tokens still be a thing? Yes, but they will be reset every map. So once you've got cool. them, you can't just set on them forever. They'll be reset at the end of every map. So like, will you still they get won't... skill tokens on like relaunch of a map with your rank, or will no. you just have to regather skill tokens every map? So. With the rank, you don't get skill tokens anymore in the sense of, like, when you redeem it, they're a separate thing. And obviously that's taken into account when it comes to the cost as well. Okay. Um, last one. Oh, wait, this is my last one. Mm-hmm. Make it good. Can I get two? I've, like, yep. one's a yes or no. Okay. Um, so I heard something about bot upgrades earlier. It's not like where you level them and combine them in the, like, bot menu. It's no. such as like you add stuff to upgrade them. Will they be dropped from adventure, and will you need to like get an item, like an upgrade key to upgrade the amount pair? It's a item which will be dropped from various loot tables. It's not only going to be adventure, um, but it's an item where you right click the bot, and then that bot becomes better. And where that item is going from is, um, pretty much still up in the air. But it won't just be from adventure. Yeah, and then uh. Thank Lockstack. You Wait, can I? I'm saying something to Lockstack. Five seconds. Uh, we need it for Zav to return. We don't. Oh, his mic cut out. That's unfortunate. Alrighty, next up. Um, <laughs> Connor. Yo. Hello. Oh, shit, where'd my note go? So I've got a, a few questions. The first one is uh, the leniency on bans on cosmic prisons, where players like Hunter Guthrie and Keep It Kawaii would be banned every week, and they would just be unbanned in a few weeks, and there would be uh, no real punishment for them. Will you guys be like decreasing the leniency for repeat offenders? I mean, that's cosmic prisons. I mean, Cosmic Sky was pretty. I don't think there was any sort of leniency. Obviously, there's certain players who got banned, who were unbanned through various methods. Um, and uh, I guess uh, it's not something that we're going to be lenient on someone just because they're that person. It's never been that way on any right, server. Uh, for, you, got, you guys said it would be coming to Bedrock. Like, how will it be accessible through Bedrock? Because I know for Akuma, you have to like get a phone app or something to do it. It will be as accessible as we can make it. Obviously, Minecraft restricts a lot um, when it comes to making the um, server accessible for both versions. So we'll do what we can, but 
I'm fairly sure the phone app is what is required to um to do it regardless. So it's not some not something we control. Yeah, all right. Uh my last question is regarding the cosmic client. I know you guys said that uh you aren't looking to add it back, but if the server goes well, right, you get a bunch of players, do you think it's possible that later on it could be added? Because I feel like it made cosmic really cosmic. It's not something that would be prioritized over, for example, bringing cosmic prisons back. Yeah, that's fine. Um, but it it's not something that would be completely off the table. But the issue with the client is it's limiting the audience. Um, whereas obviously with the new Minecraft, there's features like a server texture pack where you're able to do a lot of the stuff that we had exclusive to the client through the server now. So, um. Yeah. And yeah. since we don't have the Cosmic Client, we are going to be permitting the use of Lunar Client and Badline Client, I believe, Joe? Uh, yeah, you can use any client now on the server. We're not restricting any sort of uh, uh, client. Uh, nah. We... Uh, I mean, obviously, <laughs> hacked clients are different. It's, it's got a hack in front of it. But you know what I mean. <laughs> you you heard the first, guys, <laughs> okay? Make sure you shadow play that. Un clients that give you any sort of unfair advantage, yeah, exactly. You're banned. I mean, right. if if the client breaks the server rules, uh, don't blame me. That's the uh, last question I had, though. Good luck, oh, guys, good. with the server. Thank you. Really yep. slipped up there, Joe. Nah, I mean, if someone's a hack on the server, I'm just gonna ban him, and I'll I'll include a link to the clip in the ban reason. Anyways. Yeah, sounds good. That's me cheating. Anyway, back to the questions. All right, um, I've got uh, like a suggestion sort of thing. So can we have like a weekly commu uh, cosmic community column like what Tremble did for like a gift card opportunity, like I don't know, $20 or something? The CCU is a is like a no-brainer in the sense of a way for... Um, I mean, we did do it on Sky. We did the CIA. Um, is something that's going to be around for maybe beta or map one afterward? Map one is a lot more likely than beta. Um, and it's something that's pretty much a no-brainer. You guys submit, and it's a way for you to gain a public platform, so it's right, pretty right. much a no-brainer. Um, will we be able to keep things in slash claim for future maps? I don't think you said you were doing CCs, but I don't know, things like um, gift card bundles and stuff, if that comes out. Everything, well, not everything, but like majority of things, including claim, reset uh, across maps. Not even just that. Things you buy from the server store, they're not put into a slash claim. You buy them in-game from the in-game menu. So it yeah. just gets put straight in your inventory. So you'll have cosmic coins and you can buy things if they're on the server store at that time, but there's no like saving a CC for map one right, or okay. it map 30. No worries. Uh, one thing that I wanted to suggest was ground zero possibly coming over to Sky from prisons because it was like a good mining aspect that's not like whole prisons but good PvP as well. Uh, uh, on new, new features obviously is not something we're starting off with, but um yeah yeah that's fine and then can we get like three weeks notice of beer so i can like phone in sick to work or like bring it a hot book a holder uh, <laughs> i mean obviously with the um statement i gave earlier where rob was in here obviously ideally it will be within the next couple of weeks so take that as your warning all right break i need to break a leg or something then no problem and um what was I going to ask? I've got one more final thing. Uh, yeah, and then just uh, start banning people, ask the same questions, because they're useless. And that's about it. I'm done. True. We'll, just... we'll, we'll send skip them. them. If they ask us a question we've already done, skip. Next question. We'll send them to the prison on the server. Oh, yeah. Put them in there. No worries, mate. Thanks, guys. See you there. Thank you, thank you. Yo, so all I've got to say, Eldram, if I send you £100, tax-free, cash in hand, bro, can I get a beta access? Like, like cash free, bro. Like we're not gonna talk about your tax. We're no Whoa. tax, you know. Cash in hand. You can take it to DMs, you know. Yeah, yeah Apple, question? Apple, yeah, yeah, Apple. Everyone's well, gonna have equal access, equal opportunity <laughs> to have access to the beta. Um, there's gonna be no. No, 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 no. Oh, except if you're ex except if you're a staff member, then you get access. That's what I'll say. So if you want guaranteed access, make a good staff application, then you'll get an interview. Oh, sorry. Okay. Bro, you you follow Gremlins or your staff team? Like, you got Tacular on there. Like, can you bat in for one? And also, if you let Polar Swift in that staff team, oh, I'm sorry, but your stuff's gonna go to shit. He needs to be banned before he's even on. 
Okay, okay. we're not gonna we're not gonna talk about individual people. We'll leave, we'll leave that for the general chat. But yes, okay. I appreciate I appreciate your question. Neon flare. All right, so I, I'm I've got a couple of questions here. Most of them are yes or no's. Three. Uh, firstly, island logs. Will they will they be as extensive as they were before? That's honestly not something I've looked at. Um, that is a. a uh, They'll be probably how they were left off before. There may be a couple of bugs with them, but it will be pretty much as it was left off. There's certain sections of it that, of course, don't exist, like custom box now, but uh, the sections that do will still log the majority of things. Yep. Okay. Uh, secondly, uh, in Alliances, originally there was a slash storage. Will that be re-added? Um, I think it's still, if, it's, if it was there, it, was, it will still be a thing, yes. Um, for bots, will they? How will the fuel work? Will it be something you can say craft, or will it be exclusively something from adventures? Yep. It'll be the same, same as the fuel was before, where it's either a custom crafting recipe or from a node. Okay. Um, and bringing items over or bringing features over from, say, prisons. Uh, G kits and cosmic energy. G kits we had, they didn't really work in the sense of the power creep that they brought. Uh, cosmic energy, what would the use be of that? I guess that would be more of a suggestion question to answer rather than here. But um, yeah, I guess if you ever if you want stuff brought over, just give uh, I guess a suggestion and then a full in depth explanation of what it would do on Sky. Okay, last two. These two are yes or no's. Uh, is flight going to be a perk you can get from ranks? Yes, but it's also a perk you can get from elsewhere. Okay, and lastly, can, after Q and A, can I get a copy of the recording sent to me? Uh, it it will probably be. I mean, it depends. Like, I've got a hundred percent review of review at first because I don't want to leak anything. Um, so yeah, I. I as for the actual recording itself, uh, if it, if you find it in the public channel, it will be there. But otherwise, there'll be a uh, FAQ section which will have the majority of the questions answered in the Q and A in in it. Probably also be some recap videos, I would imagine. Yeah, right? yeah, but say so. there's going to be some um, YouTube videos. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Check out Ash's um, first video. I enjoyed watching that. Oh, you're a fan, right? Okay. I'm gonna get a few more people. Yeah. One more. Hello. Hello, Nolina. Uh, I got a few questions. So the first thing is, sorry if this has already been asked. Uh, how will realms be accessed? Are they like portals on islands, or are they in the adventure like they were towards the end? Of portals the on your islands. Okay, and then specifically with the fairy realm, is it going to be more parkour oriented, or is it going to be more pearl oriented? I it's know. not end. It's not end of pearl realm anymore. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Um, and then on OG Sky, um, it was kind of a little less solo friendly than it was towards the end with all like the island tiers. Do you guys have any like systems in place to help like smaller groups and solo players? There are goals which solo players can look towards to do on their islands because obviously the PvP style of gameplay is not going to suit your casual player so we are we are implementing systems which they can participate in to feel like they um are contributing something and have a goal for the server so it is something we are definitely have in our mind and uh one more thing uh with like players creating mods to like help them and like implement cosmic Clan features like for example like the ping system that was on cosmic Clan, if someone made a mod for that for lunar would that be allowed, do you think? Or, and what are your guys' like thoughts on players doing that? Hopefully, with Luna specifically, we'll have some sort of um, positive interaction with them. And then, obviously, other servers, they have their mods added. So we would look to do something similar. And uh, last thing, are you guys making any changes to the bosses, or are they going to be mostly the same? The actual mechanics of the bosses haven't been touched since they... Um, were the, on the original Cosmic Sky, obviously everything else has the PvP, the armor, etc. So we want to see the balance of that first when it comes to the players fighting them, and then once we've got that balance, ad adjustments will be made, and then 
new bosses will be added because obviously we're on the latest version of Minecraft and we have a lot of new mobs as well. Okay, thank you. Sniffer boss incoming. Hello, hello. Okay. Hello. I have I have one question from a friend. It would be are you guys going to be implementing top rewards every twenty four hours or every week? Whoever's top in the top rewards, three, sorry? Like top oh. reward or like IS top or like it's not something it's not something that there, is there for release, but it was a feature that obviously we had on Sky. Uh how it's obviously one of the systems which we which we might like bring back, but it's just how to do it. So we just want to make sure the core is there first and then all these systems which the sky used to have is gonna are gonna be brought back slowly because well, brought back in a better way slowly. For sure, for sure. I'll ask a question for myself. Uh I don't know I know that there are some servers that are more like predominantly pay to win. How much are gonna be like ranks or like is it gonna be like under a hundred dollars? Over a hundred dollars ballpark stuff like that. And they're gonna be less expensive as they were before. Um, yeah, that's that's like um, obviously not as cheap as, for example, thirty dollars for top rank, but not as expensive as like two fifty dollars, which is what I think top rank was before. Not yeah, near as expensive as that. And uh, I think I have uh, is. Pit or some sort of like a PvP area where or like LMS gonna be a thing. Adventures a full PvP now. Okay, and for the masks, I know that you said that there's like a mask system, but if you apply that mask, and you go into the adventures and you die, do you still you won't lose it? it. Okay, okay. It's bound to your account for the whole season. For sure. And uh, do slots expire? Like after a week, uh, I don't think they ever did on Sky. Correct me if I'm wrong. They did, um, but we're not planning on having them expire. Well, there sure. you go then. I mean, of course, they'll expire when the map resets. But okay. And last question would be: I know that Rob said that there's not going to be a wiki, or uh, like that you guys will do, but is there going to be like a, a forms? Like on Google and stuff like that. Or There's nothing on them. And everything through Discord. Everything is going to be done primarily through Discord in one place. So tickets all through Discord. Like everything, for example, banner appeals, super banner appeals, all of that. It's going to be through tickets. Uh, no more waiting in a channel for hundreds of hours um, to get a response. Um, and the updates and everything will be in the um, in the Discord sure is there going to be a band panel i'm reading okay. just that's on that, that, that's your last one yeah. uh not 100 percent. i mean it's something we obviously will um it was something that was used by players so it's a no-brainer but it's not there for beta at the moment but yeah we for will sure. have to see you guys should open up staff applications i'm gonna apply again <laughs> yeah the, they are up oh okay, okay i didn't look i didn't look that's on me they're going to close after this Q&A, so oh, we'll shit. Put one in. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. They, staff applications will be different from now on how they used to be. They won't be open all the time. When we need staff or when we're looking to have new staff, that's the point they will open. Um, so it'll be different to before. So you can't just submit an application and have it waiting there for a long period of time. They'll be drawing a certain period. And then once that period is over, all the ones will be replied to either um, accepted or denied. A few more people. Leap up. Hello. Hello. Been Hi. Um, I, I joined late, by the way, so if I ask anything that's been asked or I just tell me to move on. Um, that's fine. Is Tater plain slash streaming? Say that again, sorry. Is Tater streaming slash playing? Uh, he's a content creator, so he would be obliged to stream, unfortunately, for him. Contractually yeah. obligated, I believe, is the term, Joe. Yeah. Oh, forced. Yeah. Um, you said it's 1.20. Are you going to be using small caps, or are you going to be using a normal tech format? What do you mean by that? I'm noob. Um, like, on 1.20, you can do, like, custom, like... Uh, 
like fonts for text. Oh, just having like a normal font. Normal font, correct. Perfect. Um, you mentioned or Rob mentioned about you guys are potentially going to do like prisons in PvP. If you did, would they be one point twenty? Yes. Okay. If any of the cosmic nice. servers returned, it would be not only in um, I guess a new way, same as Sky has done. Well, not fully new, but like a newish way, as same as Sky has done. But it would be on the latest version of Minecraft. Okay. Um. Finally, oh, well, th this is like two back to back. I'm assuming Yipperman is not involved. Um, Yipperman is not involved now. Okay, and then is obviously I can see who's like on the side panel, but is other like well known admin and devs like from previous Cosmo, like Nibble and Gertis, are they going to be involved? So. The people on the side, obviously, the people working on Sky at the moment. When it comes to the other servers, um, obviously, Tata, Slayer, and Gista, they're all still around. They're all still admin in the Discord. Uh, we just have it set up so that people working on Sky at the moment are displaying once the other servers, um, once and if the other servers come back. Um, obviously, those would be the people that we'd go to because the, they're the ones who... Um, built the server from where I was. Perfect. Okay, that's all my questions. Thank you so much. No worries. Chunking, you are the last contestant. Hello, so I had a few questions. Maybe some of them were already answered, so same thing again. Let me know if I'm repeating myself. Um, I heard from some people that there were going to be less automata uh, automation. So I know before automation was like a big part of like endgame, where like if you didn't do automation, you would fall behind very, very quickly. It's the same amount of automation, it's just not how it was at the end of Sky. There's no... Okay. the bots are as they were when they were first introduced with the item upgrades. I see. Second question, uh, for the Mythic and Heroic chest, how will that work with the OG chest system uh, that's going to be implemented? If you find an Ender chest within the center of the adventure, you'll know it's either a Mythic Heroic or Heroic chest, and it will have tougher mobs around it to defeat. Sounds good. And then I had, uh, yeah, it, for the repair scroll, is stone and chain going to be one repair scroll? Or is that going to be split into two still? still I've, seen into, yeah. I've seen the request of people wanting yeah. it into one. It's not something that's off the table, but it's currently split into two. Okay. Inventory management. For ranks being purchased during uh, beta, would they be kept over to full release, or would that be like two different systems, or is just rank purchase not going to be something open for beta? Anything purchased in beta when it comes to ranks, uh, like anything purchased from now on on the server yeah. will exist okay. when it comes to ranks. It's just the old ranks, which don't exist no more. And just a question from the other servers, I know a lot of questions were asked about prison and PvP. I was wondering, was there ever a reason why there wasn't a server hub and why it was split into three different like servers, if that makes sense? Like three different IPs? Was it just different version? Was it just more convenient Dif to do it that way? Or... Different versions. PvP was originally on 1.7. Prisons was 1.8.9, and obviously PvP then got later converted up to 1.8, and then okay. Sky was 1.12, so obviously if all the servers are on the same version, it would some be something that would be easier to do, not necessarily considered, but be easier to do, so. Okay, well that was pretty much all my questions, so thank you for well, that. Maybe that was already considered. Are oh. nuclear enchant going to be a thing also? Sorry for that. Last question. <laughs> Uh, don't give me that PTSD. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm uh, sorry. I just realized Leapad stayed in the speakers thing for the entirety of it. Your special Leapad. Yeah, just say hello. I wasn't here. What the heck? I was going to do a Chinese order, but I decided not to. <laughs> What's your question, Gista? Um, and, then, and then that is the last question of the QA, so make it special. Will I be able to play uh, Cosmic Sky on Bedrock Minecraft? Oh my Is goodness, you are a... Bro, I'm about to boot you from this uh, call. Is that a yes? Yes, you can. Um, yeah. Uh, as for the questions in the questions channel, we'll look at answering a couple of them over the next couple of hours, so um, feel free to keep posting questions in there, but you, essentially, you don't have a hundred percent of our attention in there, so we it's appreciate awesome all now, of but, yeah. yeah. We appreciate you all of you coming in. Thank you, thank you. We're very excited, as I guess you guys are. So uh, we very much look forward to showing you all of it when when the server is releasing. 
Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Bye bye. Just watching the number of people slowly dissipate. Goodbye. No, I'm still in here. What's going on? Holy shit. Yeah. Uh, 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 I'm just I'm just how many fucking people are in this call? What are you saying now, uh, King? Let me beta test. Let me beta test. No, no, I'm not. I'm beta testing now. Wait, Jens, I saw you trying to recruit that gamer girl earlier. What the fuck was that about? Right. Wait, I, was so game, close, bro. Bro. I was so close, bro. I was so close. I was so close. And vote on the banning hunter. Yo, did you guys hear you'll be able to play on Bedrock Minecraft on Cosmic We did. Patch? That's crazy. That's crazy. You know, they asked, wait, what's Bedrock? They asked like four times. I can't wait to play. I, I can't the best wait for you to, to play on. Band. Can I play on the toilet now? Finally. I don't know. Go. Maybe. What? You gonna play on your smart fridge? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna play my Tesla. Don't worry, bro. Oh. It's gonna play Rob, start up a GeoGuessr lobby. It's fine. I'm gonna play on your uh, side. Wait, is this Among Us lobby? Holy. We are Can going just wrong. Let me ban We're going 50 deep. We're going 50 deep. Yeah, we got this. I haven't played GeoGuessr in so fucking long. Should I actually? Wait, who's hosting? Who's hosting? Yeah, send it. Alright, I'll make it. Uh... <laughs> oh, okay, I'll put in the general <laughs> chat. <laughs> Picture game code. Don't need draw. Oh, scribble. Yeah, yeah. scribble, scribble. <laughs> That's gonna be so much racism, King. Who's hosting? And these rainbow clones. Links in general chat. All right, what map? Norway, World. Norway, 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 Norway. Who's oh, streaming Norway. it? Norway is just trees and snow. Shut up, shut up. I'm and sorry, Norwegian people. 30 seconds to move. You can't talk, buddy. You live in the zoo. Hello? What? what? Robert. Uh, is that racist or something? Is no, that Dot Stoops, the, the fucking 12 year old? It's Andy Milanakis, actually. Mm -hmm. I fucking said that the other day. Why the fuck does everybody say that? Alright, starting it. Andy Lennox is like 50, but he Yo, looks and sounds like he's like 14. And it's 